The man accused in a hit and run that killed two children is now charged. We start our team coverage this evening with a story from Ben Jordan, who is live outside the courthouse. Charles and Shannon court records state Daytuan Robinson confessed to striking the three kids, calling it a rookie mistake. State of Wisconsin versus Daytuan Robinson. 19 year old Daytuan Robinson took his seat in court for the second time in just a few days, this time facing felony charges. Charged with two counts of hit and run resulting in death. Prosecutors believe Robinson was a driver of the vehicle that struck three kids last week. Court records claim Robinson drove around cars and blew through a red light at 22nd and Center last Thursday. The vehicle was seen using the bike lane to get around them. That crash killed two young girls, Amia and Elisa G. Both died from their injuries. Their 10-year-old cousin was seriously hurt. This was not a case in which he stayed on scene, not a case in which he turned himself in, however, went through painstakingly uh, tried to cover up his tracks. Court records show the following day, officers got a tip that led them to a residence on North 13th Street. Court records say, quote, the car itself had been partially painted black with the spray paint. The uh, facts in the complaint suggest a fair amount of uh, hard work at disguising uh, the uh, automobile involved in this accident. Robinson's attorney says he doesn't have a prior criminal record and just graduated high school in Milwaukee this spring. He was gainfully employed. He worked for BLOC Block, which stands for Black Leaders Organizing the Community. He had been there for approximately six to seven months. The court commissioner sided with the state in setting bail at half a million dollars. Well, this is an extremely egregious case. And court documents also show Robinson has never been issued a driver's license. He's due back in court one week from today. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. All right, Ben, and the suspect, Daytuan Robinson, was featured in a Washington Post article the morning of the crash for his work with Black Leaders Organizing Communities, or BLOC. Robinson was featured on the group's Facebook page as Ambassador of the Week for efforts to get Northside residents registered to vote.